to pursue my PhD in 1994. Eh? Uh, so I have involved a lot uh, to study that covering uh, almost uh, all five families of uh, primates, Asian primates. Eh? So I would like to begin my presentation by highlighting the, the Malaysian primate. Next slide, please. Uh, as listed by IUCN uh, red list category, uh, the Malaysian primate consists of 26, yeah? 26 species. Yeah? Uh, however, this can be challenged by uh, primatologists because some pr 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 primatologists might not agree with this, yeah? especially from the uh, point of uh, taxonomy point of view. Yeah? Uh, basically, we have a family of Loricidae, uh, which is Hong Kong, Tarsidae, Circopatisidae, that consists of a, a subfamily of uh, Circopatisinae, uh, which is uh, what we call locally named Barukere, yeah? and the other one is Colobine or Luto, or in English name is Langer. And uh, we have a family of Hylobatidae, Unke and Siamang. And lastly, it's a family of uh, Hominidae, which is uh, that uh, under Orangutan. Lah, yeah? So next. Um, I put it this way um, as uh, the number of the primates uh, in Malaysia has been changed yeah, from, from year to year yeah, as uh, currently uh, since last year and also this year there is a uh, assessment yeah, by IUCN uh, that either uh, promote some uh, subspecies to species category and also uh, has changed the category uh, either from the uh, vulnerable to endangered or critically endangered. Yeah? Okay, next. So we'll talk about orangutan. Yeah? Orangutan. Um, there are three species of orangutan. Yeah? Um, one is Borneo, which is a uh, Congo pygmies, and the other one is uh, can be found in Sumatra, which is uh, Congo Abeli and also Congo uh, Tapanulensis. Yeah? Uh, Congo Tapanulensis is currently being uh, uh, found as a new species of orangutan in 2017 by primatologists that. Uh, found that uh, this species is, is currently is can be distinguished morphologically and genetically from two others uh, orangutan species. Yeah? Uh, however, it is quite interesting. In Borneo orangutan, we have three subspecies, which are Pongo pygmies pygmies, Pongo pygmies humbi, and also Pong, Pongo pygmies uh, morio. And all of this uh, orangutan can morphologically they, uh, distinguish from their morphological appearance, same as at the subspecies level. Next, this map shows to us the uh, distributions of the orangutan in uh, in Borneo that clearly show to us the Morio is in uh, Sabah and also part of Kalimantan and also the uh, Pygmies in Sarawak yeah? and the rest is uh, Wumbi in uh, uh, Kalimantan yeah? okay for the next slide so as seen here uh, several uh, Conservation center yeah? uh, that involved in, uh, in terms of uh, conservation management of uh, orangutan, uh, especially in cap captivity. We have a uh, Bukit Merah uh, orangutan island uh, here. Then the one is uh, uh, Sepilong orangutan rehabilitation, rehabilitation center under Sabah Wildlife, and Semengu Nature Reserve and Matang Wildlife Center under. S Sarawak Forestry Corporation, yeah? and the rest is uh, 
manage uh, by uh, Indonesians. Yeah, we are, they have also in either in Sumatra and also in in Kalimantan. Okay, next, uh, the assessment of uh, orangutan yeah, in the in terms of uh, conservation yeah, uh, has been done in. 2019, yeah, by uh, of course a team, a good team of uh, primatologists, yeah, that mostly involved in uh, research of orangutan. Yeah. Uh, so uh, orangutan is listed as a critically endangered primate. Okay, next, so are you saying uh, has list some threats to orangutan, which is uh, as listed here? Uh, which is uh, caused by habitat loss, destruction, habitat destruction, illegal hunting, fire, habitat fragmentation, lack of awareness, and also climate change. Yeah? So, uh, of course, yeah, uh, as a Malaysian government, yeah, uh, there are several uh, uh, authorities that uh, have conducted uh, the, the, the management and conservation of uh, orangutan is in Sabah, Sarawak, and also in Peninsula, Peninsula Malaysia. Yeah. Uh, the total number of orangutan, yeah, in Borneo, uh, we are talking about Borneo orangutan. It actually, it's not precisely known. Yeah, even though uh, there are several studies have been done to to do the, the survey of orangutan, but particularly in a special special sites yeah uh, early uh, surveys uh, in 2000 uh, in sabah yeah has had as uh, estimated around uh, 2000 yeah but overall yeah the number is uh, be estimated around uh, 11000 uh, by agrinat in 2000 2005 yeah? however in uh, 2016, when they did the assessment in IUCN, uh, by comparing uh, any more data, uh, they es estimated that uh, around 104,000 uh, individuals yeah, of orangutan, uh, Borneo orangutan in Borneo Island. Okay, next. So, a lot of uh, research has been done uh, on orangutan covered by a lot of uh, institutions, yeah, including local universities, private universities, uh, local authorities such as Pahilitan, Sarawak Forestry Corporation, I know a lot of uh, representatives from SFC that have uh, uh, conducted uh, more, a lot of research in Sarawak. Yeah. Uh, Sabah Wildlife Department, yeah, this is examples. Yeah. And uh, at local university, yeah, uh, uh, you see like UKM, USM, UKHM, and UMT, UPM. Yeah, almost the primary university have uh, conducted research uh, either uh, in the wild and also in captivity. Yeah? So of course in uh, Borneo we have uh, two main universities that involve uh, actively in uh, doing research on private, which is uh, <coughs> UMS and also the mass. Okay, next. Okay, this is an example of a publication, yeah, because we have a lot of publications that uh, involve uh, research on our uh, in either in Malay Peninsula and also in Borneo. Right? This is an uh, example for uh, most research has covered on the ecological, uh, behavioral, genetics, and also conservation aspects. Yeah. Okay, next. Okay, luckily, uh, when I get involved to have a chance uh, uh, to to study the orangutan in uh, Bukit Merah, so we also managed to publish several articles in index journals that involve research uh, on behavioral aspects of uh, orangutan in, Bukit, uh, in the Bukit Merah Island, uh, orang in the island. Yeah? Other than that, also we, we managed to publish several papers on the genetic aspect, yeah, uh, and then also the the 
from the ecotourism point of view yeah and i'm sure that a lot of, there are more than that yeah uh, i know that uh, zaki uh, aini also have done uh, uh, research in this uh, uh, from this island yeah and also uh, currently we have a, a phd student from uitm that uh, conducted research on the uh, uh, micro aspect yeah okay, next okay i would like to talk uh, two main interesting findings that uh, involve orangutan and bony orangutan one is uh, last year we managed to publish uh, one article uh, in biodiversity uh, uh, journals here yeah? which is uh, a first report of uh, sighting orangutan sighting in uh, usun apau uh, in sarawak yeah? so i think the uh, the delegate participant from Sarawak may, may familiar with this place. Yeah? Uh, this is very interesting because um, this is the first sighting uh, to observe orangutan from the uh, natural range distribution, yeah? which is quite far. Yeah? Two, as estimated that two or three hundred kilometers from the from the nearest uh, distribution, yeah? which is uh, uh, from Lanja and Timau. Yeah? So uh, this is uh, what we call uh, important findings that give us a hope that to find more uh, populations of or orangutan, uh, especially in Sarawak. Yeah, uh, hoping that uh, a team, uh, researchers from uh, Sarawak SFC, uh, Sarawak Forest Department, yeah, uh, can do more uh, uh, survey, yeah, especially to to know the exact number of. Uh, orangutan in this particular area and also uh, to know what the subspecies of orangutan yeah? because it uh, almost located in the middle of of more uh, Borneo yeah? and the second uh, interesting finding is uh, uh, through our project on the molecular aspect which is genetics we managed to uh, identify uh, subspecies of orangutan especially in Malay Peninsula yeah, that involve uh, orangutan from Bukit Merah, from other zoos. So this is a very important finding uh, that can be contributed in terms of um, primate management. Yeah? If you need to translocate or you need to uh, to bring uh, orangutan uh, here, we also need to know what is the subspecies of orangutan. So uh, we have what we call uh, a database uh, uh, DNA sequences that that is based that can help to identify uh, orangutan at the subspecies level. Not only in Bukit Merah, but also can be applied uh, in Sabah, Sarawak, and also in in zoos in in Malay Peninsula as well. Yeah. Okay. Next. Okay. Uh, this is the suggestion of uh, future studies here. Yeah? Uh, I think a more comprehensive population survey that we conducted, especially in Sabah and Sarawak, that to know the exact number of uh, orangutan populations. Yeah? And also this can be done by uh, GIS that can help us to predict what is the future distribution and also the possible of extinction of the species yeah? from uh, Malaysian maps. Also, we also need to uh, conduct uh, research on disease aspect, especially the, for the new emerging disease, diseases and the NGS, yeah? NGS, metagenomic and metabacoding, uh, especially metabacoding diet that we can know what the, the orangutan eat. Yeah? Yeah? So I would like to uh, uh, um, as I'm so welcome uh, uh, for the, this uh, roundtable uh, discussion, yeah? more suggestion for the future studies. Yeah? So next. So I'm going to talk about other Malaysian primates because we have other uh, primates that uh, also reside in our country. Yeah? Next. Okay, the Tarsi Day. And the next uh, picture. Yeah? And also Kong Kang, yeah? which is a uh, among the nocturnal primates that being neglected, yeah, not too many uh, research have been done 
on this uh, aspect eh, because of course they are nocturnal eh. uh, so, so hoping that uh, more has been done especially that population in the part of Malay Peninsula that uh, uh, might conceive the uh, species, species of Dictisibus bengalensis eh, Kongkang Bengal eh. okay, next also the uh, broken twin uh, again uh, can be found in uh, Wangkalian uh, we have surveyed three main groups and currently we have uh, just published uh, several papers related to metabacoding diet and also micro, uh, microbial. So this is also a population that needs special attention from the uh, Jabatan Pihilitan. Yeah? Okay, next. So I managed to capture some uh, pictures of uh, broken tui in the Gatolah. Yeah, apa tu? Wang Kelan uh, viewpoint. Uh. Okay, next. Ah, yeah, research on uh, long-term attacks, yeah? we know that uh, this attack is considered as pest. However, the recent assessment by IUCN has put this species as uh, endangered. So, it might have an implication especially for the Jabatan Pahilitan, uh, Sarawak uh, SFC, uh, Sarawak Department because they are listed as endangered. Uh, but in Malaysia, there, we have a lot of this monkey here. Yeah? Okay, next, Baru. Yeah? Baruch, which is uh, last year a new interesting finding. We find a, a new subspecies of Baruch, which is uh, we name it as Makata uh, Nemestrina paracensis, <coughs> that we found in Selama and also from the Kuala Gula. This research is actually research done by Dr. Bolatip uh, from his PhD uh, thesis. Yeah? So it's quite interesting uh, to know the exact uh, distribution of. Uh, this uh, subspecies in Perak. Yeah. Okay, next, um, Presbyte femoralis or Lotonchenica uh, can be found in uh, Johor and also in uh, Singapore, uh, just being listed as a critical, critically endangered, the third critically endangered species of Malaysia primates after orangutan, after uh, Sarawak banded langur, and this is the third one. Yeah. Uh, but uh, research uh, has been done a lot from UTHM that cover the, the behavior and genetics of this uh, monkey, yeah, the, uh, this langur. Yeah. Okay, next. Ah, Presbytus robinsonai, previously known as Presbytus melalocos robinsonai, can be found in Perak, starting from Kuala Kangsa until southern Thailand. Uh, so not so many people, uh, not so many uh, primatologists have done eh, uh, on this uh, uh, my dengar, yeah, except um, I, I I have uh, some genetic data. Yeah. Okay, next, Presbytis hemensis, uh, or locally known yeah, as Lotong Kakong by local people. Yeah, uh, also endemic to Malay Peninsula and Southern Thailand. Yeah. Uh, not so many data on this uh, uh, species uh, on ecological and behavioral. Yeah. So more studies need need, need to be conducted. Yeah. Okay, next, we have Lotong Labu. Yeah? As I said, that um, uh, current IUCN red list 26, but for my, by myself, I consider 25 because we have a problem for this species because uh, data of, uh, from Dr. Abdul Latif showing that the classification uh, separation only vary at subspecies level between uh, Lotong Labu, Malay Peninsula, and uh, Borneo, and also Sumatra. But, however, uh, we need to conduct more uh, research especially on mitogenomic and nuclear DNA to confirm whether the classification by IUCN is valid or not. Yeah? So, but for me, we retain it as a, still as a subspecies, yeah? uh, this Cristatus selangorensis. Okay, next. Uh, this is a population uh, 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 of Lotong Klabu in, in Borneo. Yeah? Okay, next. Uh, Lotong Chela, yeah? Lotong Chela or Lotong Chen Kong. Uh, uh, I have several students uh, studies on this, and also we have uh, from USM Dr. Jolin Yap also has done on the ecology of behavior, and also she has a Langer project opinion that conducted on the uh, research on the canopy bridge. Yeah? Okay, we have uh, next species, Presbytic uh, Crossmolas. It's a very important species. For the Sarawak, yeah, because 
or previously uh, list, listed as uh, among 25 uh, critically endangered species yeah, in the world yeah, uh, can be found in several spots uh, for example Gunung Poe, uh, Samunsan and Nolong Sotan Jodatu yeah. so it's very important uh, to conduct a molecular systematic study to differentiate from uh, Chrysomelas in Tanjung Datu and also from Mandam yeah. and current uh, findings by Indonesian primatologists they found it in Danau Santaram in 2019 yeah. Okay, next, endemic onion langers, yeah? we have a lot of endemic onion langers, for example, uh, Nasalis, uh, Rubikunda, uh, Jose, yeah? but research uh, has been done more on uh, pro proboscis monkey yeah? as uh, compared to others, as compared to Jose and also Sabana, yeah? Sabana and also Frontata, we don't have too much, too much data on this uh, species. Yeah? Okay, next. Hylobates, yeah. Hylobate is also considered as an endangered uh, species. Yeah? We have uh, two in Borneo, and then we have two hylobates in Malaysia and also uh, Siamang. Yeah? So we have five species of hylobate, hylobate that all of them are considered as an endangered species. Yeah? Okay, next, okay, this is a white-handed gibbon. Yeah? Uh, <clears throat> research has been done by Dr. Uh, the David Magintan from MWRC on the rehabilitation uh, and also uh, possible to reintroduce this uh, unta to the wild. So I think uh, if uh, Dr. if have, we have a chance, Dr. David can uh, share with us during the discussion uh, uh, his latest findings on the white handed gibbon uh, rehab. Yeah? Okay, next, okay, this uh, species is a uh, uh, Hylobates la antelloides that can only be found in northern part, uh, which is a, I found it in Wangkalian. Yeah? Uh, so we have uh, two subspecies of uh, Unke Tangan Putih in Malipi Kusula, yeah? and the other one is, uh, as I said, two species in in Sarawak and also in Sabah that not so many data, yeah, uh, comprehensive data has been collected on this uh, onion gibbons. Yeah? Okay, next, we have a uh, siamang. Yeah, uh, we also have a, a, a good uh, collaboration study with uh, uh, Awana Ruzan, also by Jabatan Pengelitan, to do to do more monitoring of siamang. Yeah, in the uh, the highland, especially that in the ecotourism areas. Yeah. Okay, so more data have been uh, uh, done uh, on this uh, on the phylogenetic on the next generation sequencing eh, of Siamang in the Thailand. Okay, next, yeah, uh, uh, we just received a uh, grant from NCTF uh, that uh, doing on the to research on the uh, gibbon, yeah, either in uh, Malay Peninsula and also in uh, Borneo, that would help uh, from the genetic uh, uh, research we would like to know what is the best uh, plan? What is the uh, the, the best uh, what we call uh, uh, plant species that can be used uh, to to feed yeah, uh, for the gibbon and in captivity lah, yeah? Other than that, we also try to uh, sequence the the whole genome of mitochondria of the all Malaysian gibbon. Yeah? This uh, okay next. Okay, uh, uh, as a conclusion, yeah, uh, a, lot of, a lot of research has been done uh, on the Malaysian primates yeah, that mostly cover the behavioral, ecological aspects, uh, phylogenetic, population genetics, phylogeography, conservation management, zoonosis, uh, and also primate conflict. Yeah. Yeah, however, the future research and current research uh, is been going on yeah, on the GIS, also uh, uh, GIS, metagenomic, mitogenomic, in situ and ex situ rehab, welfare, and also socioeconomic. This is uh, something uh, what we call area that also need to be focused, yeah, is now also in the future. Yeah? Okay. 
Okay, next, so uh, end my talk eh, to acknowledge especially Yayasan Pulau Rotang uh, Bukit Merah lah, eh, and other agency that help uh, me uh, a lot eh, uh, doing my 28 research eh, uh, in primatology. Eh. So next, okay, and also your research grant. Thank you, thank you very much. Professor, for your insight. Indeed, Malaysia is a mega biodiversity country that is blessed 